Hi Gemini, welcome to your fortnightly check-in with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Uh, so if you haven't already, please don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel and me so much. I appreciate every single one of you that do. For those of you that are continued subbies, you know Raffi loves you. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose and this resonates, hit that subscribe button. All right, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So uh, for your cross purposes, also uh, remember there is no astrology in these. These are purely tarot. So watch for your sun, your moon, or your ascendant. So your cross purposes, what is getting in the way of all of your good stuff this fortnight? The Empress. So there are potentially two ways that we can see this. One, and I say this out of all love, because if you have been with me long enough, you know I love my Geminis, all right? Um, what I will say to you though, the Empress does represent vanity, right? And this doesn't have to be in the, <laughs> you know, I'm so wonderful, look at me kind of way. It could literally be that you're telling yourself that you can do all things, that you can be all things to all people at any given moment. And I gotta tell you, that does, unfortunately, I've been told this myself, it comes from a place of ego and it'll really trip you up, especially when it comes to your health. So please look after yourself over this next fortnight. Another way that this can show up, again, health, overindulgence. When I tell you the Empress is Venus, she loves those sweet things, those good things, those treats, those tidbits, all of that. You could really overindulge over this next fortnight, whether it's in you know wine, sex, drugs, rock and roll, whatever the case might be. Um, I was going to say something really inappropriate then. <laughs> I'm so glad that I'm learning. Finally, at 38, I'm learning to have that filter thingy. Okay, all right. So that's, you know, the, the macrocosm. Let's have a look at the micro. Uh, so you've got this with the King of Pentacles. A Taurus person, likely to be a Taurus male, could potentially not pull you off your path, but this could be someone, you know, we've all got that one person. It don't matter how good you're being, as soon as they show up, you go completely off the rails. They're a lot of fun for like a party or a gathering or a get together, but you can't have them around for too long because they just, they take you down some, you know, not very good paths. This may very well be that. Now the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy. The Venus, uh, the Empress card is Venus. So this is very likely to be a Taurus person. Another way that this potentially shows up is you're overindulging, right? The King of Pentacles loves anything material, anything foodie, earthy, all of that. So you could really overdo it over this next fortnight. Be careful. For your um, actions and interactions with the world at large, you've got the Ten of Swords. So potentially letting something go here. Something's coming to an end with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, 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 okay. And the Ten of Cups, I mean, wow. All right, so three tens represents a new condition, right? So what we mean by a new condition is potentially a birth. It could also be where you are, this fortnight, you are initiating some very big change that is going to have wonderful consequences for you. The reason I say this is, although it's with the Ten of Swords, that's you letting something go. It's you finalizing or completing something. Then you've got the Ten of Pentacles, one of the best cards in the deck, especially for many, uh, and also the Ten of Cups, which is absolutely, like these two together, represent true happiness. They represent true, like, true energy of like, I've done it, I've got it all, right? It's the happy home, the money, the health, the wealth, all of it. That 10 of swords is what it takes to experience that. So whatever you're setting into motion this fortnight, you made a right decision, all right? I'm very happy for you. For your career and communications, you've got the high priestess. Gemini cooking something up in the background there with the uh, Lord of Shadows, which in this deck is the Death card. Okay. And the Page of Wands. Uh, my dear Geminis, if you are so inclined, 
Go and see a medium over this next fortnight. I promise you, you will gain insight from it that you never thought possible about your career. Now, the reason I say that is because the death card coupled with the high priestess is a medium. Uh, and you've got this with the page of wands, which is literally can represent actual messages. A medium gives you a message about your career because we're looking here at your career and your um, for those of you that are interested, I will be running another tarot course uh, starting in September this year. Uh, shameless self-promotion there, but I know a lot of people say to me like, how do you get that from the cards? And, da -da -da. and you know, I like to teach as I go, but I want to save all of the good stuff for when you get in the door. Um, now, that, uh, yeah, so for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, uh, another way that this potentially shows up for you is something that you have been working on or towards. Now that you're ready to reveal it, it's kind of like there's a little bit of trepidation here because you're not sure how it's going to go. And also you don't really know, you know, once I do this, it's kind of like, you know, when a lot of people finish studying after their degrees, they go through this massive deflation moment because it's like, oh, well, we've got nothing to do now. It's because you've been running and burning so hot and so bright for so long. Your next idea, the next step on the path is, is will make itself known very soon. For those of you that are uh, employed by somebody else, this could literally be um, news that reaches you about where your company is going, whether it's going bust, whether it's being bought out, which is possible for a lot of you, um, and also where, you know, maybe you're going to be expected to take on new job roles and or responsibilities. When it comes to those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, here you're getting a... It's not so much a glimpse, but I I almost feel like you're like whatever you're working on behind the scenes, you know this is going to go really well. You believe in what you're doing or what you're trying to bring out into the world, and I got to tell you, it will go very very well. But there is some piece of information that you look like you, it looks like you're waiting on or for. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, go and see a medium, please. Over this next fortnight, I promise you, you will get a message. For all of you, really, Geminis, but especially for those of you that are retired, mostly because people that are retired tend to be of an older age, and, you know, those people that are older, you've lost more people, and I don't say that to be morbid, I'm just, you know, sometimes we get really woo-woo, and sometimes we get really literal, and we keep our feet on the ground. Personally, I like a blend of both, all right? For your uh, love and relations, you've got the Seven of Cups, okay, with the Lover's Card, Okay, and the nine of pentacles. Oh, Gemini. You got, you got, you got options. <laughs> That's a, a, a song. Um, you got options. I'm just going to tell you straight up. That seven of cups with the lovers, maybe too many options. And maybe, just maybe, the options that are available at the moment are very thrilling. And they offer all of that good, exciting stuff but aren't necessarily good for you. I will say though, if you're single, there appears to be potentially one viable candidate, but the Nine of Pentacles suggests that it will be hard work for you to cement that relationship and make it something genuine. It's potentially hard work. Doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't mean that it's bad or that it's awful, just Maybe you live in different cities. Maybe they have kids. Maybe, do you know what I mean? Like there's there's a variable here somewhere where it's gonna take a lot of work for you guys to solidify a relationship. Once you do, it will be solid. Um, but I would say for now, just enjoy the process of it unfolding. For those of you that are busy, uh, in long-term commitments or uh, partnerships or relationships, this is potentially you and your partner starting to understand where you've been spinning your wheels. So where is it that we've been working hard, but not necessarily smart? This is you guys doing what you can to come onto the same page in some regard. And I actually think that's a very good thing because it's gonna, it's gonna show you how you can enjoy life more and especially together. And then finally, for your uh, money and materials, you've got the four of wands, love. Uh, with the Ace of Cups, wow, okay, 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 and the Empress, I was just going to say, uh, I don't know, but some someone getting pregnant, all right, you, someone got a baby on the way, 
is about to be pregnant, maybe this is the decision that you and your partner have been making. And for those of you that have been stressing about conceiving and just haven't been able to make it happen, it'll happen, all right? You, you're gonna be good, I love this. Now, when it comes to your money, this is great news, a reason to celebrate that comes literally in the first week of this reading, so when it's for. Um, and it's gonna be fruitful. I mean, there is good money to be had over this next fortnight. Like, I love this for you. Uh, when it comes to your um, physical health and vitality, no problems with health this fortnight, providing you stay out of your own way and don't overindulge, which to be fair with these cards, it looks like you've heeded the warning. So, hey, uh, <laughs> double hit of the Empress as well. So it can go one of two ways, right? You can pick up your chalice and get completely trashed, you know, five nights on the, on the trot, or you can, you know, imbibe responsibly. Uh, and then when it comes to your home and environment, there's a change of location coming up for a lot of you. For some of you, this will be beautifying or changing the home to make it more comfortable. For others, this is literally, I've had enough of where I am. I know I'm not gonna flourish or thrive here, I'm ready. Uh, so if you're looking to buy or sell a home, this is great. If you're looking to rent a home or change the place that you're living, this next fortnight is going to really reveal something wonderful to you. And because there's a Mercury retrograde in your 12th house, I know I said no astrology, but um, it's a potential that you will be returning to a place rather than finding somewhere completely brand new. Um, but either which way, and then when it comes to health as well, if you've been trying to conceive you got the clear, you got the, the green light, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.